What is good my people? Today we are focusing on building bigger arms with calisthenics at home with minimal to no equipment. So let's dive straight into these exercises. The first exercise is weighted supinated pull-ups. Obviously you're going to need a sturdy bar, attach your weight to your body whether that's weight vest or on a dip belt and then you want to perform pull-ups but with your palms facing towards you. Now this also targets back but we're mainly focusing on our biceps today. So the goal here is to pull with your biceps making sure your chin clears the bar and then lower yourself back down in a controlled manner to make sure the biceps are good, a good stretch down the bottom. Now you have to remember the eccentric phase is just as important as the concentric phase. So don't just let your body fly all the way back down. You want to lower yourself in a controlled manner to reduce injury and get the most benefits out of the exercise. Now if you're not able to perform a weighted pull up just yet, you can always use your body weight and perform higher reps or at a slower tempo to increase the difficulty as well. There are many different ways you can perform the supinated pull up. Obviously you can do a wide grip, a mid grip or a very narrow grip. The closer you bring your hands together, the more difficult the movement's going to become and the more that you're going to move from your back to more focusing on your biceps. Next, we're moving on to the TRX Pelican Curl. You want to adjust the TRX straps to about chest height, grab the handles, lean forward, and then you want to use your biceps to curl back up. Now this movement is no joke and is seriously going to isolate and strengthen the biceps and is probably one of the toughest bodyweight exercises you can do. So make sure you're controlling both phases to avoid injury and get the most out of this exercise. Just like most movements that involve the TRX straps, your foot placement is going to determine how hard or how difficult the exercise is. Obviously, the more upright you are, the easier the exercise is going to become. The more you get more parallel to the ground, the harder the exercise is going to be. So you need to determine your current fitness level and make a decision from there. After that, we have the TRX bicep curl. This curl variation is going to engage your biceps and of course, again, can be made more or less difficult by your foot placement. If you are finding that these are not challenging enough or you're just progressing at a very, very good rate, you can always add weight like a backpack filled with something heavy or a weighted vest. And remember, the slower you perform these movements, the more difficult they're going to be and the more stress you're going to put the muscle under, which equals more gains for you at the end of the day. Now we have pike push-ups, an exercise that is going to challenge your shoulders and triceps. You want to assume the downward dog position, lower your head towards the ground and then push back up to the starting position. Start off with your feet on the ground and then you can elevate the surface to increase the difficulty. If you cannot perform pike push-ups fully, you can always hold the top position to begin building up strength in your shoulders. Next we have sphinx push-ups or bodyweight tricep extensions. There's another exercise which is going to test your arm strength and your core stability and really, really isolate those triceps. You want to start in a plank position and then bend at your elbows, lowering them towards the ground and then push all the way up. Again, the slower you perform this movement, the more difficult it is going to be. If you cannot perform the movement fully yet, you can always lower yourself down slowly, bring your knee to the ground and then put yourself back in the starting position. A similar variation is the cross-armed body weight tricep extensions, which is a progression. So for this exercise, you want to cross your arms in front of you, again, bending at the elbows to lower yourself down slowly and then push up. And this again is really going to isolate those triceps. So make sure you get your hand placement correct or else you're going to be falling all over the place and make sure your core is intact and everything is balanced. Now we go into diamond push-ups, an absolute classic. So obviously you want to get into a push-up position with hands close together in a diamond shape to target those triceps. These can be made more difficult by adding a weight vest, elevating your feet or performing them at a very slow tempo. Now we all know diamond push-ups are going to give you the horseshoe of a tricep so you definitely can't skip these out. Then we have another absolute classic which is dips. We want to use a stable surface, either parallel bars or chairs. We want to lower our body until our elbows are at least 90 degrees and then push all the way back up. This exercise as we all know is really going to challenge your tricep capabilities and definitely will add some serious mass onto your arms. Of course it can be progressed by adding weight or slowing down the tempo. But we all know triceps make up the majority of the arms so you do not want to skip out 
on your tricep movements and only focus on bicep movements. They're an antagonistic pair. So you wanna make sure whatever you're doing on the front, you should be doing on the back and vice versa. So make sure you're going hard and remember to come to this channel for complete calisthenic workout ideas. And obviously you're gonna have those bigger arms after you do all these exercises. And remember consistency is key for results. I'm out, peace.